it's office work or simply work at home, you want to have your surroundings feel more like you. So might as well start with what you need to remind yourself or to save of things. To start off, choose any size corkboard from your local craft store. That size will determine how much fabric you will need. I would recommend a size depending on the width of the fabric you wish to use to decorate with. Then you will need a secondary fabric for the pockets, measuring approximately half of the cork board. Start with the main fabric facing up and in front of the cork board facing down. Fold each edge of the fabric over the board and determine the measurements, marking where to cut and make the ends properly meet. Be sure to leave at least an inch or so of extra fabric so that the fabric's edge can coat over, leaving a more clean look when completed. Cut where the lines are marked, then hem them with a sewing machine, as well as your pocket fabric. Line the pocket fabric with your main fabric and then pin the edges, using your machine to stitch around the edges and one line down the middle to divide the pocket fabric. Or if you want to add more pockets, just add proper divided lines. Finally, have both the fabric and the board aligned and facing down and hot glue around the wood edge, securing its alignment. Whether mounting tabs or nails, simply use whatever is necessary to hang what is now your new office storage space. Or one of them at least. Mostly for your paper and small accessories. Now you can leave the ideas that come from your mind in an environment that satisfies your mind. You see that kids? We were posting before Facebook. Uh, you okay there, brother? You're shaking the camera too much. You, you look a little enraged. What, what, why are you turning beat right? What are you doing? What are you doing with that? What are you doing?